In the world of men, men do things to help people. They also do things to help themselves. Many times a man will meet with another man, they'll discuss ideas, but the man in that meeting might say, this is confidential, but the other man will walk off and gossip like a schoolgirl, and literally take the ideas to another group, another network, another person. Maybe you'd rather do that idea with someone else, but here's the deal. It wasn't your idea in the motherfucking first place, so what that means is you've just stolen from the house of God. When you steal from the house of God, you sort of end up screwing yourself. It might work for you for a short time, but eventually you might start finding yourself slipping and sliding down the slippery slope of not having any more business. If that's the case, then you've got to go get a job. You might have to go use your skill sets someplace else. What I can tell you about monsters in America is monsters in America do not think about what they're doing to people. Monsters in America will taint your clothes, change them out, adjust your pockets, resize your clothing, and openly spray you with something so that the flies never leave you alone. The bastards of America who do that really are the bastards of Satan, because I can guarantee you they're not involved in Christ's house, because most Christians don't even do things correctly. Most Christians will walk by someone who's in struggle, walk by someone who's in, who's in homelessness, and literally screw them over. They will make fun of them, they will talk about them, they will squawk about them, they will almost never offer someone outside of their personal networks any help. Now, if we think about Christ, it's nothing like him. Christ had a band of twelve, and because of that marvelous marketing band of twelve, we are still talking about Christ today. As a pagan, I'm talking about Christ because most pagans don't necessarily have a pagan-specific God. It's not true that our books about paganism are not even known to you. So talking about Christ, talking about the Bible is a lot easier for a person like me, but I am openly not supporting paganism at this present moment is not true. What I am challenging the rest of the religions to do is to prove themselves to be of the house of God. I know every day the house of God because I have been had it proven to me over the course of maybe five to six years of my present faith of paganism that God knows everyone and every living thing. God can tell me it's time to move towards that restaurant and I'll make my move and lo and behold here comes my little family of 12 geese. Now this morning I was pretty pissed off to see that one of my little goslings that has been flourishing by the love and kindness of its mother and father in the lakes looks like it's been harmed by someone. It is having a hard time walking. So my question is did somebody put poison down that has harmed that baby? Did someone try and grab that baby and harm it and cause it to have a problem? But I am pissed off because that little gosling was flourishing just fine, or has something been released in the lakes to harm them. I get a little tired of people trying to manage the environment who don't have any rights to manage our world. A lot of these grass keepers, a lot of these bush cleaners, a lot of these, I don't know, bush cutters and whatnot, have no master gardener's licenses. So they put down all this chemical that ruins our animals, ruins the things we need to help pollinate our earth, our foods, and our other things. 